So apparently Super Mega Champions is going through a balance patch with a couple mechs, so let's talk about those. But it looks like the next season is starting, technically at the end. I did make it to Alpha finally. I mean, legendary status. Took a while, but it was nice. I think I'll be able to get there more often now if I keep playing this game. But anyways, so news and season's coming, so make sure you share, etc. This update also includes some balance updating. So Tempest is already getting hit, and it was just released. But I feel like this first part made sense. And slightly increased the explosion range of the primary and secondary weapon. Reduced the secondary weapon's damage versus a mecha from 200 to 180. So we lost pretty much three shurikens, averaged out 600, so we're at 540. Yeah, it's 500. It's not too bad, I guess. We're still in the fives. It's not like it's... They could have done way worse. Could have made it 450 for three shurikens. That would have been garbage. Um, increased the cooldown on the tactics. Go from... Wow. Really? We're nerfing the freaking dash already? But I've been enjoying it so much. I mean, I guess because it resets when it kills, but no. It's, I wanted the time to go down because it's so good and cool. Man. Flamenco got a surprise buff. Increased the theatrical, theoretical maximum damage dealt by the tactical skill versus mechs after landing from 850 to 950. So that nice little smash does 950, which is still a lot. That tag actually does a lot of damage. Wow, if you actually hit that on point, that does a lot. That could kill. That's dangerous. Anyways, Skyfall is finally getting some little nerfies, nerfs here and there, which is great. Kind of needed it. Very abused, very easy to use, and very abused. Skyfall is going to lose some reduced maximum range of the dash of his tactical skills. So you won't, I guess he won't dash so hard. I guess it'll be a tiny little dashy or whatever. And then it says reduce the secondary weapon single shot damage versus mechas from 160 to 150. So they nerfed them by 10, so it's okay. Maybe it'll show a big difference when people play it. Um, they also did overall modification, reduced the vertical bullet speed of sniper mechas by 20% when they used the springboard to shoot in team match. Interesting, so they even added a team match. Uh, sensor mine launcher, the projectiles of the sensor mine launcher can now be attached, I don't think it means attacked, attached to friendly mechas or vehicle targets. That's gonna. That's actually a bigger change because that means they'll finally just work automatically when it touches. It's like, um, it's like the bots, like the mouse bots, but you know now it goes off like normal. If it touches, it'll explode. So maybe it'll be a new kill code. Maybe it'll be a new item you use in um, deathmatch. Maybe these things will do a lot of damage when it touches. Um, also, they said added pile weapon records for different modes, adding secondary confirmation that pops up, add a currency storage feature for the super value monthly pass. Don't buy it. Added rainbow freeze gun to airdrop weapons in the blaze battle. Nice. Fixed an issue that prevented a complete match in limited time. Okay, fixed an issue that prevented players from equipping pilot skins. Uh, fixed an issue that caused Tempest to not refresh after killing a mecha in the training ground with attacks under the extreme situations. Weird. Fixed an issue that caused the damage dealt by normal while piloting the range to be displayed incorrectly. And fixed an issue that caused the friend list to be displayed abnormally under a circumstance, but they did adjust the daily, I guess, adjust giving one like while spectating to leave a message or give one like. So that way you don't have to like anyone anymore. You can hate them. <laughs> then authorize the special effects of Tempest, so that's good. And fair play, everyone knows there's a bunch of hackers, yada yada. But it's interesting to see Tempest and get hit so fast. Skyfall, I think, had it coming. But Flamengo getting a nice little buff is good too, because honestly, I think Flamengo is actually a very nice unit. Anyways, guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. I guess we'll see these updates tomorrow. Y'all be good. Stay safe. Until next time, peace out.